Are you stuck in a financial self-sabotaging cycle? Let's talk. Hey friend, welcome back to another Mind Right Monday. I'm your host, Bonnie Kelly, your emotional intelligence speaker, author, and coach here to help you end the cycle of self-sabotage. This week, we are specifically talking about the cycle of sabotage when it comes to finances, your money cycle, and how we can continue to, or how we can begin to break this self-sabotaging cycle that is keeping us broke or away from our financial goals. So before we dive into my three tips this week on how you can break this cycle, let's talk about what the cycle of self-sabotage is in the first place. Well, the cycle is any time that you find yourself in the same place over and over again in your life. This could be a lot of times with fitness, where you're yo-yo dieting up and down. Could be with your nutrition, where you eat well for a few weeks and then eat like crap for a few weeks and then eat well for a few weeks and then eat like crap. It could be in motivation, where you are a chronic procrastinator and then you're super motivated, then chronic procrastinator and super motivator. Well, in finances, it could be a couple different ways. It could be where you're just keeping yourself stuck at a financial ceiling. So maybe you make good money. Maybe you make 100000 a year, but your ambition is to make a quarter million a year. But you just find yourself just stuck in this loop right at 100000 a year. Or maybe you find yourself where you just, uh, every time you have money, you're broke. Every time you have money, you're broke. Whatever that cycle is, and you want more than what you're experiencing, then it's time to break it. So with that being said, let's dive right into my first tip this week, which is know why you're sabotaging your finances. All right, in the personal development world, this three-letter word is the most powerful ally that you have at your disposal, and that is the word why. Why are you doing this? Where does this come from? If you don't understand the why behind the behavior, then you're not going to be able to change it. We need to know what's fueling it, what fears or insecurities, what thoughts or conditioned programming. A lot of times, if you've grown up where um, you just live paycheck to paycheck and that's all you know, that could be a conditioned thought pattern. And so you're just repeating what you've been taught. Or maybe you've been taught that uh, only the rich get richer, or that the rich people are bad, and so you keep yourself behind that. Or that having a lot of money is a struggle, or it's hard, and so you keep yourself right at that $100,000 loop because the mind perceives that going above that is going to equal sacrifice and struggle. You have to know why. Why are you stuck? Why are you limited? Why are you hindered? What fears and emotions are fueling this? and even more so what thoughts and beliefs are behind the scene. Knowing that it's, and being equipped with understanding the why is the only way we're going to be able to move forward into taking different action for change. So let me end this section off with a quote from Dave Ramsey who said, I believe that through knowledge and discipline, financial peace is possible for all of us. And so do I. It's through a disciplined mind that's gonna allow you to have the financial freedom. Now, of course, we're gonna to have to have disciplined actions, but it's really the disciplined mind that allows us to take the disciplined action in the first place. Everything we experience out here starts in here. And so this is the place that we always need to investigate first to change our outward results. All right, this leads me to my second tip, which is what habits do you need to replace? All right, so the next thing that we need to do, once we understand the why, we need to map out the, habit that come, the, the habits that are in place currently. And once we've mapped that out, now we can replace that map with a new one of a conscious creation. So you have to know what habits do you have? Uh, do you find yourself emotionally shopping? When you're feeling stressed, or maybe when you're bored, you're on Amazon, or you're on your favorite sites buying things like crazy. Uh, maybe you are feeling less than, or you're feeling not enough, and so you're constantly trying to fill that through having the latest and greatest outfits, or making sure your home is decorated to the nine. You have to know what are the habits, what are the fuel that fuels the habits, but what are the habits? And then consciously say, what do I want to replace these with? Because we need to consciously decide, how do you want to be when it comes to your finances? 
And how do you want to feel? When you're bored, do you really want to spend money? When you're angry or upset or hurt or depressed, do you really want to blow your savings? Probably not. You probably want something different than what you have, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. So it is really important for you to know what habits that you have and what habits that you want to replace them with and map that out now. So let me end this section off by a quote with, from Jenny Craig who says, A change in bad habits leads to a change in life. All of us have bad habits. It's nothing to shame or to beat yourself up about. It just says that this is where you need to start of putting your attention, your discipline, and your willpower so you can have a different result. All of us have areas we want to improve. So you just want to give yourself grace, not beat yourself up for what hasn't been, and focus on what you can do versus what you haven't done in the first place. All right, this leads me to my third and final tip this week, which is no more emotional spending. Okay, so the, the last thing we need to do is recognize where you are emotionally spending. So this is going to tie into the habits of the last section, but it's so important to know what emotions trigger this spending splurge. What emotions are causing you to have to have this deal right now, or this, is, this deal's not going to last, it's once in a lifetime, I have to spend this money. What emotion? Is it scarcity? Is it feeling you're missing out? Is it feeling that? What is the feeling? We have to be able to connect the dots to how your emotions are, are keeping you stuck in this cycle. And then what we want to do is we want to create some space in between the emotion and the spending habit. Now how we do that is that you can simply just take a breath and take a break. So take a breath and take a break. If you can just break for a minute and say, okay, if I still want this tomorrow, I'll come back and get it then. If it's that important, I'll be willing to pay full price. Whatever it is that you need to say, we need to incorporate space and give ourselves a break so we can go ahead and reconsider. Because if you can begin to implement that habit, I bet 90% of the purchases that you feel you have to have and you need right now are not going to be that important. And when you can breathe, you're going to give yourself space and then you can come back to them when you're ready or when you have the extra money or have budgeted to do so. So let, let me end this section off with a quote which is, financial freedom is available to those who learn about it and work for it. Robert Kiyosaki. Anybody can have the financial freedom that you desire. And to break this cycle, we have to know the emotional connection. Once you know that connection, now we can replace it with something that is going to be more in alignment with what you desire versus the default reaction of what you have. So hopefully you've learned a little bit on how to break the cycle of self-sabotage when it comes to your finances this week. If you want to learn more, then check out bonniekelly.me. This is the website where all the cool people hang out, like you. So if you're looking for other like-minded cool people, then you need to come check us out over there and join the conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss a beat, because I come back each and every week with other tips and tools you're not going to want to miss. And so until next time, I'm Bonnie. Did you enjoy this video? I sure hope so. As always, they're brought to you from viewers just like you. If you have a personal development question, email me. I'm here to answer all of your questions in the mental and emotional field. So you can email me at getinspired at bonniekelly.me and myself or my team will be available to answer your questions and get back to you as soon as we can. If you're ready to start your personal development journey right now and you don't want to wait, then check out my 21dayemotionaldetox.com uh, program. You can snag sn seven days for free right now to help unhinder your life and get you started on the personal development journey that you desire in 10 minutes or less a day. So check it out. It's free, totally, no credit card required. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Until then.